Hi everybody, this is Valentina from The Real Italian Kitchen and today I'm gonna show you how to make a very simple pasta with zucchini and featuring the pomi chopped tomatoes from their Italian weekend set. This is gonna be delicious. Can't wait to show it to you. The Pomi Italian Weekend Trio is a variety pack of three different cuts of the same high quality tomatoes. Today we will use the chopped tomatoes to get a rustic, chunky textured sauce. The container is BPA free and the only ingredient in there is tomatoes, which is what you want. No preservatives or added ingredients. This pasta is so quick to make, it's going to be ready in less than 15 minutes and serves two people. On the right, I have a non-stick pan with some extra virgin olive oil in it. I'm gonna throw in my chopped garlic and red pepper flakes to taste. On the left, my pasta water is boiling. I'm gonna add salt and my red lentil gluten-free fusilli. Once the garlic has browned, I'm going to add two zucchini that I have roughly chopped in small chunks and I'm going to stir them and saute them in the garlic, olive oil, red pepper flake oil that I've created. I'm gonna turn the stove down on low and let them saute for a couple of minutes until partially cooked. It's time for our chopped tomatoes to make their grand entrance. I started with roughly three quarters of a cup. Mix well with the zucchini and keep sauteing. Add your favorite Italian herb mix. I like this because it has thyme, which goes really well with zucchini. So if you don't have an herb mix, then just thyme will do. Look how beautiful this pasta sauce is. It's creamy and it smells delicious. I drained the pasta and I added it to the sauce. It was my first time using this red lentil fusilli and I didn't realize how much they were going to double in size. So I'm adding a little bit of the pomi tomatoes. The goal with fusilli is to have them beautifully coated in the sauce. The sauce should be shiny and abundant. Add some olive oil if it's not shiny enough. Saute until the sauce has completely incorporated in the fusilli. Ooh, look at that. Every little spiral has a little bit of tomato sauce. The pomi chopped tomato smells amazing and it bonded beautifully with the rest of the ingredients. One more toss for the camera and then I'm ready to plate. A steaming plate of fusilli with tomatoes and zucchini wouldn't be complete without a generous serving of authentic Parmigiano Reggiano on top. To find out if the Parmigiano Reggiano is authentic, you have to look on the Rhine and make sure that it, the words Parmigiano Reggiano are actually printed on it. I can't wait to dig in and let's try a bite of this steaming plate of fusilli. It's hot. Mm. Love the delicate flavor of the pomi tomato sauce. I'm really happy with the quality of it. It's made in Italy. Um, the container it comes in is BPA free. The only ingredient in the sauce is tomatoes, which is what you want out of a simple can of tomatoes. You don't want any added ingredients. I think it was it works really well with the zucchini. Let's try a bite. Mm. Yeah. Thank you for following the Real Italian Kitchen. I hope you enjoyed this recipe and let me know if you try the pomi tomato sauce, if you like it. Ciao.